Okay, so just got back from seeing uh, the A-Team. I guess a little bit of background. Being born in 79, I lived through all of the 80s. All of the 80s. And the A-Team was by far, it is a, uh, I believe they were Vietnam War vets who were accused of a crime they didn't commit. And they were soldiers of fortune. And the TV show was pretty much based off of super outlandish tactics to defeat enemies in incredibly insane and complicated ways. With lots of bizarre, snappy dialogue that nowadays would seem undeniably cheesy and undeniably campy. Now, <clears throat> when you're watching this movie, if you get kind of annoyed during the sequence that happens before the credits actually roll, you might as well just get up and leave the movie. Because that's what it is. It is bizarre. It is over the top. There is no such thing as physics. Everything happens the way they decide for it to happen. It is great. It is over the top. It is fun. It is enjoyable. It is it is cheesy. It's the way the A-Team would be done nowadays. If you kept the same style plot, same same sort of action, and just increased the violence and gave it a bigger budget. You know? I actually... This movie works on two levels. One, it is funny. Two, it is chock full of action. You know, this is... It's an action movie. I don't know. Mr. T was offered a role, a cameo, and he mentioned that we have two reasons. One, the sex, and two, the violence. For there being this much gunfire, you really don't see lots of people, you know, it's not like, oh, I've been shot, blood spray. I mean, this is, you know, people get shot and they just kind of fall down. This isn't like, you know, the last, last Rambo movie. People get shot. I think you really see one person, like, actually die on, on camera. But it is, it is violent. It's not as family-friendly as the, the show from the 80s. When it comes to the sex, there is... Two kiss scenes? I'm thinking. Barbara, yeah, yeah. You see two people kiss. And you see lots of shirtless Bradley Cooper. I guess if that's too sexy, you know, if that's too sexy for Mr. T. I guess it's shirtless Bradley Cooper. It's just too sexy for Mr. T. Quentin Rampage Jackson, he did a really good job as B.A. Baracus. You know, Liam Neeson, excellent job. Bradley Cooper, great job. The guy who played Murdoch, I'm, I'm sorry, your your name wasn't big enough for me to, to, to know off the top of my head. Great job. Entertaining movie. It's fun. It's not serious. It's... It's a remake of an 80s movie, of an 80s TV show. It's like watching the TV show. Just people actually get hit with bullets. It's not, you know, ah, uh, you, you shot my car, my car blew up, and I jumped out, and I was okay. So, quick recap. A-team, enjoyable, fun. Are there some twists and turns in the movie? Yeah. But there are things you see coming a mile away. It is, it is enjoyable, it is campy, it is the 80s.